Hello all, welcome to Rotrainage.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we pass a parameter between two analysis, or we can consider, consider it as a master child analysis report. So let's see the steps involved. So the first step is we have to create a master analysis and consider it as a parent object. So in our example, we are considering a subject area of receivables customer real time. We are selecting a couple of columns like registry ID, customer name, customer type code, total number of accounts. This is a master analysis. Now we'll be creating another analysis. We call it as detail analysis, wherein we are selecting some parent columns as well as the child columns. Like if you observe here, customer account number, site number, site name. And apart from some, apart from that, some additional columns of the parent also. So first thing is we have to create two independent analysis, one is master and another one is child. And now coming to the third step. So we have to create an interaction between the master and child. So in the master, what we have to do is on a specific column where we want to have a link, like a the particular parameter where you have a similar column in both the analysis, what you do is you have to create a link. So we have to click on the column, click on interaction, click on the column, column properties, interaction. In the value setting, you have to click on this plus symbol and here you have to click on this button icon and mention you have to mention the analysis linkage here you have to mention the analysis linkage here once you select the analysis it will show the link like this and click on ok and that's it so this is a change you have to do in the master analysis similarly there is a change required in the detail analysis also navigate to the detail analysis you have to create a filter on the registry id and we have to mention the prompt as a filter criteria. So these are the four steps required to be done to design a master chain analysis. And the final output expected is like this. This is a parent or we call it as a master. And when you try to mouse over or left click on the registry ID, it shows a kind of, you know, like a button kind of thing. Once you click on this little icon, it will navigate to the detail analysis and also it will pass this respective registry ID to the detail analysis. So now let us perform these particular four steps in our instance. So I'll just navigate to the Fusion application instance and uh, I'll try to create all the steps we have discussed now. So in the Aurora trainings, so I'm in the customer shared folders, customer Aurora trainings. So I'll just click on create analysis. So here you select, just type receivables or you can type customers. So receivables and in the receivables, we have to select customer real time. So either you can type customer or receivables and try to select receivables customer real time. This is our subject area. Click on save first. And I would like to create a new folder I'll say master child demo. And in this folder, I'll just say customer master demo analysis. Now click on customer. Now in the customer information, we'll try to select registry ID. And customer name so i'll just scroll down here i'll select registry id and also customer type code customer type code as well as customer name so i have selected customer registry id customer name and let us select the customer type code also and we can have the number of accounts also total number of accounts here so this is our master our customer master is ready. Now, similarly, what we do is we'll design the analysis. We'll, de we'll design the scale analysis. I'll just navigate. I'll create a new tab. I'll open a new tab and click on create analysis. And here I'll say receivables.
and the receivables select customer real time save the analysis before doing any changes so i'll name it as customer detail demo analysis and here we'll try to have few columns of the parent as well as few columns of the child so we'll select registry id country and then we'll select account details as well as site details so in the customer accounts customer account details you have a column called account number and similarly in the site account site you'll have a site number site number as well as site name also you'll have it site number site name and now save it so now save this analysis and now navigate to the parent or customer master you can just check it out the result how it is looking like so this is how it is looking like this is good so now what we do is on the customer master on the customer master on the registry id we would like to have a linkage so click on this particular icon click on column properties click on interaction now here in the value primary interaction select action link and here so click on this particular icon and now you have to select you have to click on new action and now navigate or you have to select navigate to bi content and i select to navigate to bi content now we have to select the detail analysis linkage here so that is available in the custom for our trainings demo master child demo and customer detail demo analysis so this is a linkage now click on ok now i'll say customer details click on ok that's it you can just save it so the master changes are done and similarly now i will navigate to the detail and as of now before changing anything just click on result and see whether it's working or not yep it is opening and it is displaying all the information now click on criteria we have to create a filter prompt on the registry id click on the registry id click on filter now what we have to do is you have to just simply make it as is prompted that's the only change you have to do on the detail analysis simply is prompted so i'll just open a new tab for our analytics i'll try to open the report and see how it is working so click on catalog and check it out the folder where your report is there so these are the two reports which we have created in the master child demo and this is our master report i'll click on open here customer master demo analysis open and you can observe the linkage or you can observe a hyperlink on the registry id like this and now i'll simply click on this registry id 10000 and it shows it shows a button kind of thing simply click on that it should navigate the child customer detail demo analysis so now it is showing the there are three accounts or sorry there are yeah so it's showing three records but you know like here yeah there are three sites and you know one account right so you can you can just shift these particular site number and site name to the last so what we can do is so for now let us say if you at all if you want to navigate to the parent you can just click on the parent customer master and let's see now so here what happened was like uh, maybe while dragging and dropping this we have not shifted properly so what we can do is generally the site comes after the account number right what we can do is you can just shift them like this site number and site address that's it so 
first first information is the customer party and then the customer account and then the site details you can just save it try to reload and we'll navigate again okay so still it is not refreshed maybe you have to reopen the report then it will get refreshed let's try that again so this is how we can design a master child report in a very simple manner between two analysis so i'll try to open the master again better save for save the analysis first and open the master and i'll just click on this one okay still it is not refreshed so what we can do is just check the result in the demo analysis why it is not happening like that so here what is happening is in the criteria it was like that but you know like uh, it was fixed in the result section so you have to click on the edit so you have to click on the table layout edit and you have to just shift the columns appropriately then it will be perfect so it will be like a registry information or customer master information first then account and then site so let us do that we can just expand this and here i just drag and drop like this site and site went to the last and just simply click on done that's it click on save okay now we're able to see the site information in the last so we can see we can just do a editing on the layout in the results part so this is all about how do we navigate between two analysis by using the linkage as well as the prompt logic thank you